What's up guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, today I want us to have a look at uh, conversion, uh, azimuth to bearing conversion. And uh, as you can see on the screen, I already have this uh, diagram and I have a definition here. So if we take a look at this diagram, you can see uh, we have north, we have northeast, east, southeast, south, southwest, west, northwest, then back to north. And uh, uh, this compass is divided into uh, quadrants. We, we normally have four quadrants. Uh, the first quadrants run from uh, north to east. And then uh, the second one from uh, uh, southeast, like that. Then southwest, the third quadrant. Then uh, northwest, the fourth quadrant. And... Uh, as you can see on the de definitions, the two definitions we have here, a uh, bearing is an angle less than 90 degrees within a quadrant defined by cardinal direction. So what we mean is that uh, uh, a bearing is normally uh, defined in this manner. Say I have a uh, north, then uh, 24, 24 degrees, say uh, east so these are the cardinal direction north and east and this is the uh, angle so uh, an azimuth is an angle between 0 degrees and 360 degrees uh, clockwise from north so uh, if you want let's say to get uh, an azimuth of as uh, an azimuth you can actually you measure from north going clockwise let's say up to this point here and then you measure that uh, angle that's north but now uh, azimuth let's say you want this uh, angle here you measure from south uh, to that that uh, particular uh, that particular line and get uh, your, your bearing so uh i have some notes here uh from the first quadrant you can see that uh north uh northeast uh so the first quadrant uh northeast that's it from north to east uh is between uh, zero and ninety degrees and uh when you convert when you're doing your conversion uh the bearing remains the same as uh the azimuth now from when the when the angle that you have when the, you have an, an angle that you want to convert that is lies between uh 90 degrees and 180 degrees that one lies in the second quadrant and uh in order to convert that you subtract that azimuth from 180 degrees and then add the cardinal directions and then when the when the angle is in between uh, 180 degrees and 270 degrees, uh, definitely that is within uh, the third quadrant. And uh, in order to convert that to bearing, you get the azimuth uh, minus 180 degrees. And then finally, uh, when the angle lies between uh, 270 degrees to 360 degrees, uh, you subtract that azimuth from 360 degrees. And then you add uh, the cardinal direction. So I have an example. I have examples here. So let's say you want to convert seventy-three uh, to seventy-three. That's too too big. Let's just select another color. So when talking about seventy-three, uh, seventy-three degrees. So 73 degrees is equivalent to, it lies between 0 degrees and 90 degrees. So definitely that's not going to change. The only thing that we'll do, we'll add the cardinal, uh, the cardinal uh, direction, which is uh, north. And then in between you add the 73, the 73 degrees. And then uh, east. like that 
so that's for 73 and if you had something like uh, 24 it will be uh, north uh, 24 uh, degrees then east so that's for 73 now the second one is uh, 149 100 you convert this azimuth to uh, bearing so that will be you see 149 degrees lies in between 90 degrees and uh, 180 degrees so definitely it falls within the second quadrant and uh, and uh, the second quadrant you can see the cardinal direction is southeast so and to get the uh, bear, the convert this uh, as you've seen here this note here uh, to get the bearing is you get 180 minus and the azimuth so it is 180 180 degrees oh, sorry 180 degrees subtract uh, 149 so that is that will be equivalent to uh, first we get the direction which is south and then uh, if I calculate that 100 minus 180 minus 149 degrees that will be 31 uh, 31 31 degrees east So 149 azimuth, 149 degrees azimuth is equivalent to uh, south 31 degrees east. That's the bearing. So if we move to uh, the third one, 247, 247 degrees, uh, definitely that falls uh, within, that falls within uh, uh, the third quadrant so this one for, uh, fell within the second quadrant this one first quadrant now we're in the third quadrant and it is between 180 and uh, 270 degrees so that's south e southwest now on this uh, as you can see on this uh, note here to convert that uh, we get the azimuth which is 247 and then we subtract 180 degrees. So 247, 247 uh, degrees minus 180. Oh, sorry, 180. So which is equivalent to, again, uh, let me get out my calculator, 247 minus 180 you get 67 and the cardinal you can see that this is uh we are on south southwest so we start with south and then uh 67 so south 67 degrees uh, you have to bear with me guys and then uh, west uh, sorry w is written like that so and then uh, lastly we have 303 303 degrees so to convert that it falls uh, within the fourth quadrant uh, that's between 270 degrees to 360 so and that is northwest as you can see on the diagram so and on the fourth uh, north you can see that uh, to convert to bearing you get uh, 360 minus azimuth so 360 360 degrees minus uh, the azimuth uh, azimuth is 303 303 degrees so which is equivalent to uh, 
360 minus uh, 303 that's 57 and the cardinal direction is north uh, north 57 north 57 west so that's how we can convert azimuth to bearing and uh, that's it for this tutorial. I uh, wish you a happy new year.